Human skin has three main layers. Epidermis. The outermost layer of skin. Dermis. Beneath the epidermis. Hypodermis. The deeper subcutaneous tissue. Epidermis. Is the outer skin layer. A waterproof barrier. Dermis. Is the cushion for stress and strain. Dermis provides elasticity to the skin. Dermis senses touch and heat. Hypodermis. Now, subcutaneous layer acts as padding to the body and protects internal organs. Oh, yeah. Subcutaneous tissue is fat tissue, also called adipose tissue. Human skin has three main layers. Main structures of the skin are sebaceous gland, eccrine sweat gland, and apocrine gland. Sebaceous gland secretes sebum. Functions of sebum. Inhibiting bacterial growth on the skin surface. Lubricating and conditioning hair and skin. Apocrine and eccrine are sweat glands. Apocrine sweat glands are found in the smellier parts of the body, which have hairs, oh boy, like armpits, scalp, and pubic. All apocrine sweat glands secrete their products into hair follicles and cause the sweaty, smelly odor. Be you. Eccrine or mirocrine. Sweat glands are the majority of the sweat glands in the body. They secrete their products directly onto the surface of the skin. Eccrine sweat glands are found in the forehead, face, palms, and soles of the feet. Eccrine sweat glands regulate the body's temperature. Hair shaft, hair bulb, and hair follicle. Human skin has three main layers. These are the parts of the hair structure. Ravini's corpuscle, Massonera S. corpuscle, Cassini and corpuscle, and nerve terminations. Now these are nerves in the skin that carry the sense of touch, pressure, pain, and temperature to the brain. Rector pili muscle. This helps to raise the hair upright on skin. Small blood vessels. Supplying nutrients and oxygen to the structures in the skin. Human skin has three main layers.